Blended e-learning for a start means blending traditional learning, paper and um, books and pens and so on, with e-learning. Um, so it's trying to take the best of both and it's been our professional development program for staff this year so they've had every Monday morning a session looking at how to best blend e-learning tools and techniques into their normal classroom performance. You cannot have a full program that sits exclusively in one spectrum or the other so if you've got uh, if you've got an entirely paper-based learning classroom or environment kids miss out on a lot of opportunities that the digital does provide. Alternatively, if you switch to a digital environment entirely, there's aspects that are always better done on paper. So benefits of e-learning, I suppose, are kids being able to manage themselves much more effectively, take control of their own learning, access their own resources. Kids, I suppose, are going to be able to start participating, contributing in the world that they're going to go into rather than the world that the teachers came from. The digital learning allows in class, at home, on the bus, anywhere, anytime type learning. And so we're no longer restricted to just within a class period um, with a particular teacher. And so again, that has got to be positive for increasing the learning capacity of our students. Teachers have broken up into an e-learning faculty subgroups and so every faculty is represented and they've gone through and looked at the things that they think are probably most relevant to their own area. Um, Google Docs uh, has been a real focus because of that collaborative learning, that shared learning, uh, kids being able to work together on the same document uh, opens up new ways of doing things, new efficient ways of doing things. There's a range of other things that, that different departments have covered that are spe specif specialists to those departments, but um, the collaborative learning has been a real focus this year. Initially they were all doing um, some common learning like Google Docs and Google Forms and things like that that no matter what subject area you're teaching in um, that you'd find useful. Um, also a lot about digital citizenship and to make sure that students are safe when they're um, working in a digital um, situation. So how to manage their classroom so that students are not on devices when they don't want them to be or on sites that we, they don't want them to be. So basic stuff. But in every faculty there is an e-learning facilitator who has had extra professional development. And now they've moved on where each faculty is looking at the tools, the software that meets the needs of their own particular subject. So in maths, what Mrs Middlecoop is doing there will be quite different to say what Mrs Williams is doing in English or um, Ms Brower is doing in Social Sciences. They're now moved on to subject specific um, materials and tools that they will use in their own subject area. E-learning, I fully agree with e-learning. It is here to stay. Computing, computing and computers aren't going to go away. What we need to do is best utilize that.